Welcome to Coach Corner Cat fans. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining me on this Monday afternoon. Uh, good, good, fun weekend. We had the uh, rival game with St. Henry. We had the the golf outing, which I'll talk about a little bit, a little bit later. And and uh, so we we start a new week and uh, and look forward to the Parkway game this week. So uh, backing up and review of St. Henry. Uh, the score ended up 40, 41 to seven in the favor of the Cavs. So that's a good thing because they got us last year. In a, in, a, in a very frustrating loss. Uh, but we got off to, a, again, we've gotten off to really good starts this year. Um, every week we like, to, we like to kick off first, and I think every game I think we've won, we've won the toss four, uh, four of the five games, and the one we didn't win it, they chose the ball. So uh, we got to kick off anyway. So that's, that's been a, a really good for us. We like to do that. We get the ball the second half uh, coming out. Obviously, we, if, you, if you choose to kick in the first half, and so um, that, that's been that's been a good good positive for us in getting off uh, to a good start. So so again, I think they got one first down, but then we held them. We had a good good drive and scored and and, and got off to a, a really good start. And I think in their second drive, we we stopped them and blocked a punt and scored again. So I believe the score was 19 uh, to nothing at half. And and uh, you know we had a kickoff return uh, to open up the second half, which kind of kind of put us in cruise control and, and felt felt really good about the game. Again, uh, lots of lots of guys got to play, lots of guys contributed, and the more guys we can get get playing, uh, you know, the healthier and fresher we can be as we as we move move down the road and get into some of those uh, really really difficult games. So, feel good about the win. It was at St. Henry, uh, and and uh, felt good about that. Um, last week, as we looked at the rivalry games, unfortunately, St. Henry won uh, three, three of the five games that we have each week, and they were kind of crazy games, so we were, we were kind of frustrated. The seventh graders were up 21-7 and lost in the last minute on a long pass and then a, then a two-point conversion. Um, the eighth graders came back. Uh, they always play on Thursday night. They came back and, and won 36-6, I believe, so they, they played, played really well. And, and, uh, and one, um, the varsity, uh, our freshmen last Monday got a little bit of rain and we were up six, nothing lost eight to six, a uh, real tight game. So, so another two point loss. Uh, then of course the varsity game was 41 seven. So Saturday morning, uh, we come out and we're winning 14 to nothing in the JV game and, and ended up losing that game 16 to 14 also in the last minute and a half. We just didn't, didn't play as well offensively and couldn't, couldn't get going and, and their quarterback played really well in the in the especially in the second half. I bet you they completed 20 to 25 passes in that game. Or seemed seemed that way. So, so uh, at this point now we're 16, four and two on the season. Uh, I think I think I calculated that right. Uh, so th so that's still good. We we feel like we left a couple get away uh, this past week, but all all three losses were by um, by two points, and then the wins were 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 good good solid wins. So we move on, uh, move on to Parkway. Parkway comes in at two and three. They had a tough loss to Versailles last week. Uh, they had a good win the week before versus St. Henry. And uh, so we, uh, uh, Parkway is coming to us for homecoming. So that's always kind of fun and have the dance on Saturday and homecoming king and queen uh, will be voted on this week at school. Uh, like I said, Parkway comes in at, at uh, two and three they have a have an outstanding running back linebacker is their standout uh, standout player uh, they have they don't have very many players so so hopefully we can we can take advantage of that I think on, on our scouting report uh, 10 guys are playing both ways uh, 10 out of the 11 the quarterback and the safety are, are the two guys that I noticed that that weren't playing both ways <clears throat> so so from that standpoint hopefully we can wear them out um, uh, between between uh, those those ten guys playing both ways and special teams, we we feel like we have an advantage there. Uh, but but you never know. You know we watched them on film, or I have I've watched them a couple days, and we'll watch some more. And and uh, you know they're they're coming to town, and we just got to continue to take care of ourselves throughout the week, get better, uh, practice better. Uh, or get better in practice at something specific. We talk about that a lot because we all say we just want to get better, but uh, 
but we try to make it a specific thing, whether it's a, a specific position, a, sp a specific group uh, position. So, so for example, this week we're gonna we're gonna uh, the last two weeks we have played a defense that I've had three down linemen, a three-four defense, what we call. And this week they're a four-three defense or four-four even sometimes. So, so it changes a lot of the blocking and things like that. So that's something specific for our O linemen that that, that they're going to uh, deal with a different protection, uh, different different blocking schemes and, and things like that. So, so we so every position, every everybody has different different things that they need to do and and, and try to improve on. So, so we'll, uh, like I said, that's, that's at home, 7 o'clock versus Parkway. A um, couple, couple spotlight people. Kathy Bowman is our support staff, uh, support uh, spotlight this week. Kathy works with Eric and works for Eric and works out of the main office. And Kathy does tons and tons of things. And one of the unsung heroes, I think, in, in our school and, and athletic department. Quietly goes about her business and does her, does her job. Um, like I said, she helps Eric. She helps Gretchen in, in the office with all kinds of things. Um, when coaches come in to recruit in any sport, she takes care of them and gets them transcripts and, and gets, them, gets them to the coaches and gets them to the players. Um, you know, with homecoming, she's helping a bunch with that. Um, with all the events that we put on, all the, all the uh, tournaments that we host and, and all those types of things, she, she's um, involved in all of that. And she'll do whatever, whatever you ask her, and and that and does it really well at that. So, so Kathy, uh, thanks for all the, all the work you put in for for our town and for our school, and, and especially especially all of us in in the athletic department. Uh, coaches, coaches spotlight Keenan Leakty. Keenan's been with us probably for I don't know six, seven, eight years. Uh, Keenan is our only only coach that that didn't go to. Coldwater High School. He's a Versailles grad. I think a 1990 graduate. Sounds sounds right to me. I think he was a state state champ football guy at Versailles for Al Hetrick, um, and, and played at Ohio Northern, and even got into I think a pro camp. Uh, so he's a really really outstanding uh, football player. He's coached several places before finding finding a, a good home here with us here at Coldwater. He's been a head coach. He's he's coached at UD for a couple years, and so. So he's, he's, he's done lots of things with coaching. Um, Keenan coaches our linebackers and fullbacks, obviously two of the most important positions uh, on the field, especially on defense, because they're making the calls and getting guys where they need to get to and, and uh, make, make, make guys that hopefully are making lots of tackles. He also coaches, and this, is, uh, this has been huge for us, um, he helps with all the special teams, but his main special team is punt block and punt, punt return. And so last week we blocked one. Uh, we blocked uh, I think two, three, four this year already. And it's such, just such a backbreaker when you can block a punt because the other team's already upset because they're giving the ball up. And then you block it, and and uh, it's just a, just a huge, huge special teams play that that we put a lot of a lot of effort into uh, punt punt return. And fortunately, we haven't had to punt very much this year. And and, and fortunately, um, we're getting a lot of attempts on, on punt return, but. But really, we try to block more than we probably return. So that's that's been a great team for us. So Keenan, good good work, and, and thanks for for what you do for us. Uh, another spotlight group I'm going to throw out there. Like I said, I mentioned in the in the introduction that we had our golf outing, um, the football the football golf outing, which raises money for all kinds of things and things that that last a long time. So that that was the goal when when these six guys put this together. So, so a group from 2010, Adam Rammel and Keith Wedding, uh, 2009, Corey Klinke and Alex Deuce, Chunky, and Kyle Lawrence and Ryan Geyer from the two, 2008 uh, graduates. And those were uh, six, six really, really good football players for us. And uh, uh, seven years ago, they put, put this uh, golf out and they like golf and, and they like to, to help out with, with the town and with the program. So they put the golf out together, and it's still running strong. I think we had uh, 24, 25 teams um, Saturday afternoon out at the Elks. Uh, Kirby does a great job of putting on events, and, and these guys have done an outstanding job. And, and, and each year they've gotten us something new. We just got new uh, end zone camera equipment uh, just just past this past week. We got that next week. I think I'll I think I'll highlight some of that. And we'll show it on the TV how huddle works and how the end zone camera works, but. They've gotten a several several things that last a long time that, that are really 
uh, to benefit the players and benefit get the program. So thanks, fellas, for that. And it's always fun just to see your friends and, and hang out. I think I had five, six of my, my uh, teammates and classmates from 1978 playing and and uh, just good, good to see those guys. And so, so it was a fun, fun day. So thanks, thanks to that group. Our senior spotlights, uh, like I said, numerically, we have 44, Grady Sutton, and 51, Nathan Cup. Grady is a running back, fullback, and a special teams guy. He's more of a special teams guy uh, uh, on Friday nights, and I'm sure he wished he could play more. But the good thing about Grady, one of our coaches mentioned him in, in, in one of the team meetings that you know, Grady at school, and, and uh, not only in school, but, but also at practice and, and games, just has a really good attitude, and he understands his role, and, and is doing, doing that uh, to the best of abil his ability, and fortunately, we've been able to get him in, in, in several of the games this year in the second half, and, uh, you know, he, he's, he's just had, had been, a, been a good, good team player for us. The second one, Nathan Cup, number 51. Unfortunately, Nathan can't play this year. He, he's had two hip surgeries, and, and the risk of, of damaging those again was not, not worth it. Nathan was an O&D lineman. Um, Nathan, though, has come every day. He even came to the weight room in the summer when he knew he really couldn't, couldn't do a whole lot. Um, he helps with the freshmen quite a bit. Sometimes we'll send him off with the freshman O lineman during a team period or, and do, uh, do drills that he knows how to do. And So I call him Coach Cup. He always understands how practice works and if we need something he's he's a guy who, who you can count on and then uh so so again a great attitude a great team guy and they, they he gets the program he he and uh, two of his brothers uh robbie and patrick both played for us um they're they're very service oriented um, service oriented family so they like to do things for other people i know dad is in the, in the service service industry and in the in the i think the mental health field and then rob and patrick are both sheriffs um you know after graduation they went right away and, and so working in mercer county staying at home and, and helping helping take care of the of the county so uh grady and nathan thanks for for being great teammates and and uh you know hopefully we that'll help you down the road and we'll help you down the road in, in, in any way any way that we can so friday night homecoming seven o'clock versus parkway here at cavalier stadium hope, hope to see you here